What's going on guys, Mr. Austin here today, bringing you guys another college football season predictions. We're going to go team by team to pretty much see how well they will do in their upcoming season. Now this last video, we looked at Boston College, but now this one, we're going to look at the Clemson Tigers. Last year, they went 10-3, but really though, the, uh, those three losses really came to really good teams, one of them being the National Champions Georgia Bulldogs, but did not make it to the conference championship but i think though this season they are not only going to be the fairest to go to the ACC championship but possibly the national championship could make a run to the playoffs hopefully so i would say though they have 14 returning starters seven of them on offense six on defense so i think they should have a i think though they shouldn't have a make a run in the, to the playoffs possibly I think their offense is going to probably need some work right here. They are 82nd in scoring, 58th rushing, and 103 in passing, I think. But I heard the quarterback, DJ, he is uh, the top team quarterback of the upcoming season. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's going to be the factor. Their defense, though, is zone that's going to keep them alive. It's going to keep them in games. They're second in scoring, seventh in rushing defense. But 34th in passing defense, which is still good, though. I think it may need just probably a little work on this one. So, you know, you know, you basically can, you can look at that one. So, I would think, though, for me, the ceiling where I can see him being. Honestly, I can see him going 13 0. 13 0 is probably where they can go. That's the highest they can. Obviously, that's the highest you're going to go to really see it. Uh, the floor, um, 10 and 3. 10 and 3 is probably where it's going to be at. Um, there's probably some games in here that, you know, you could probably see them losing in this one. This is one of them. So there's key games in here that I think could really have an effect. Uh, one of them that I put is against Georgia Tech. That is their first game. It's, it's like, oh, well, Georgia Tech's not really that, it's probably not going to be that good. But it's just going to give us a feeling to uh, see how, where Clemson's at right now this season. I think that's what's going to give us a really at. Um... Let's see. Notre Dame. That's a huge game right there. That is a huge one. That's going to be an ACC Championship rematch from 2020. Yes, Notre Dame playing the ACC Championship. Um, probably because due to the COVID pandemic, I think they just played, I think Notre Dame just played ACC opponents. Technically, they are in that conference, just nine football. And then Miami, Florida. That is a matchup that could be an AC, ACC Championship preview. So that's why I kind of marked that down a bit because like Miami, Florida is probably going to be a top contender for the ACC championship. So now we talked about all that, though. I think we might as well kind of predict the game, see where we got going. So obviously, we they, there's always when I have a buy right here, that's week zero. So they're not they don't have a game there. Now week one versus Georgia Tech. Actually, it's on the road at Georgia Tech. Excuse me. I would think this is a game that's going to test us, you know, if, you know, where Clemson's at and everything. Um, I still think they're going to win this one. Um, they may, I feel like they may struggle in this game a little bit here, honestly, in my opinion, because I do not have faith in this quarterback as much. I mean, he's going to, he's going to win you some games. I think he's going to give you probably at least a 10 win season. He's not, he's not Deshaun Watts. He's not Trevor Lawrence. So I don't know, I think, but he's. He's not the best one, but I think he's still going to get you some wins. Now, they're at home against Furman. That's, there should be no doubt about that. That should be a W right there. Honestly, I, there's no way in hell they could lose this game. Now, they're week three at home again against Louisiana Tech. I would also say they're going to take a dub in this one. Uh, um, uh, Louisiana Tech, I do not know how well they will do. I don't know how well they're going to do with their cup season. Clemson's just not... There's no way they should be struggling this game here. There's no way they should struggle whatsoever. So they're 3-0. Now they're on the road against Wake Forest, a team that really, I would say, surprised this last season, honestly, in my opinion. It's tough to really think. I, don't, I think Wake Forest could. I would say Wake Forest is possibly going to struggle in this game. And Wake Forest, uh, I don't see. Clemson did beat Lake Force last season, and I believe they're going to beat him again this year. 
I had Lake Forest has probably they're probably gonna have some stars returning. I think they probably has lost some key players in the draft, so I think this may be um, gonna be a factor. So, all right, so we're now back at home taking on NC State. This is, is your revenge game right here. I think it's tough to really say though. Do I have them beating NC State or do I have them losing? It's a tough, it's a really tough one to look at here, honestly, in my opinion. I think, I'm going to say, though, I think they're going to lose this one. If I'm, if I'm going to really be honest with you, I think they could lose this game here. Um, but it is probably going to be a close one. I think this game is probably going to be, I think this game is going to probably gonna go to overtime, in my opinion. So, oops, okay. okay, yeah, I think this game is going to go into overtime. So, we're back on the road, taking on Boston College. I did say, though, Clemson is going to beat Boston College, and that's exactly what I'm going to say here, too, as well. Obviously, I did say they were going to beat them, so there should be no doubt about that. Um, Boston College could eh, probably improve a little bit, not by much, so, but it's not going to change the fact that Boston College is going to beat Clemson. Now, they're on the road again to get taken on Florida State. I must say they're still going to take a dub in this one. Like I said, I don't know if I faith with Florida State or not. I've heard they're going to improve. I think I heard they're going to improve in this one. I really heard to say they could beat Boston College, so maybe that I might get that wrong. I don't know. I just don't see it happening though. So now we're back at home taking on Syracuse. They're gonna win this one. They are going to win this game. So no doubt about that. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Syracuse is. Not, I don't know if they'll be improved or not. Let's see. Now they'll have a bye. This is their bye against Notre Dame. I'd say not only though, it's not going to affect their chances of getting to the ACC championship, but this could have their chances of getting into the college football playoffs. That is the reason why I marked this down for sure, because of the college football playoffs. It can make or break your team. I think a lot of people was probably going to go against me. I say this. I'm going to say they're going to lose another day. I really think that. I don't have so much faith. I'm not saying this quarterback is bad. I'm not saying this either. I don't know if he's going to have that capability. He's going to have the clutches in him to win this game. I do not know. But like I am saying, he'll probably surprise us. Um, He'll probably surprise us in this game. Okay. So we're now back at home. I think their last three games is all at home, so that's going to be pretty good for you. You're going to have them get a win. I'm going to say they're going to win against Louisville. I'm going to say that. Now, you're always, I mean, they always got a bowl game, obviously, though, too. Um, you have one loss in your conference against NC State. I do not, I think, could have an effect to still go into the championship. I still think that whatsoever. Uh, Miami is just in a coastal division. Is the championship preview. I think they're going to beat Miami in this one here. I just think that's going to happen. And there's a possibility they can. If Miami and Clemson meet again, I still think Clemson is possibly going to win that one. I don't know. And then the final game, you got South Carolina. I, they're going to win this one. I do not see it whatsoever. I do not see South Carolina uh, winning this game at all. Um, South Carolina may prove a little bit. They may improve a little bit here for this upcoming season, but they are not going to be capable of beating Clemson. I will say this. So, but there you have it, though. They're um, they're 11 and two. Um, not to say not too bad at all. There is not too bad. I think that can get you into a conference championship uh, playoffs. It's uh, I don't know. It's it's. It's a coin toss, really, to say. It just depends, though, on the um, against Notre Dame. I think it's just that's just gonna determine that if how many games Notre Dame's gonna lose. I think though, if Notre Dame at least loses, like, you know, obviously if you lose at least two games, possibly, I think you're they're done for sure. That's the same thing, Clemson. You lost two games, I don't think you're not gonna get in the playoffs, really. So, honestly, but I do not think Clem uh, Clemson is probably gonna get to a college championship, possibly gonna win it. I do not know they're going to go to the playoffs or not. So, that's what I'll say. But anyway, guys, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.